Hey guys, I'm Cody, editor of Mind Past Life Pro, and it's about time. For my next Minecraft Cinema Mods tutorial, I thought we'd take a look at probably one of the most well-known and useful recording mods for Minecraft 1.7.10 and 1.8, this one being the Minima mod. So, let's get started. For those that really don't have a clue as to what this mod is all about, think of it as a replacement for your recording software, and a really good one at that. As described on the Minecraft forums, Minima is a mod that allows you to record smooth videos in Minecraft, even at extremely low frame rates, all by the push of a button. Well, to be able to get to that point, there are some things I'd like to teach you. So, let's move on over to Minecraft's config menu. How things are going to work is I'll show you my settings, so that you can get a good understanding of what I use, and if there are any important topics I'd like to touch on, I'll let you know. Capture. As for this first section, these are my settings. Copy them down if you'd like. But for normal use in Minima, I really haven't needed to go here. Capturing. Now, this section is where things get quite a bit more important. Let me explain. The first two tabs, frame width and frame height, are where you'll tell the mod what resolution you'd want in your final product. In my case, I've ordered the mod to render my cinematic clips at 2560 by 1440 which is slightly larger than 1080p. And on a side note, it doesn't matter what resolution your monitor is in. For all I know, you may have as much as 720p max res. Don't matter, you can still record 4K if you wanted to. Frame rate. Just add the FPS you want in the final product. Since I make 60 FPS YouTube videos, naturally I choose a frame rate of 60.0. Frame limit. Not a clue on that one. Capture path. Pretty simple. This is where you add your location to where your content is stored. For me, I have it set to go to another hard drive because depending on the settings you choose, space can fill up quite quickly. Show overlay. Not important, I always keep it disabled. Encoding. We're briefly going to skip over image format. Use video encoder. With this tab, you have the option to have Minima record in photos, in my case PNGs, if set to false or in a video format, is set to true. I've always gone with the photo method, so I've always left this as false. Moving back up to image format, understandably, this is where you have the option to choose your type of image format. I went PNG because I needed a balance between quality and the all too real threat of space consumption. For the rest of this stuff, I really don't have anything to add. Engine overrides. Even though this may seem like an important menu, I don't really have anything to add, since I really never needed to mess around in here. Overlay. Yep, I got nothing. Video. For those that would like to use the non-photo method, this is where you'd adjust all your technical settings. Alright, let's move into Minecraft for the second part of this tutorial. For filming cinematics with Minima, it is pretty simple. To begin recording, all you need to do is push F4. Now, allow me to direct your eyes to the top left corner of the screen. As you can see, when I pushed F4 to record my scene, it instantly brought my FPS to roughly 1. What this means is Minima has taken into account the frame rate tab, and has adjusted Minecraft's time accordingly so that the ending product comes out looking as if it was shot in your chosen FPS, mine being 60 FPS. Another reason for this would be Minima simply compensating for the impressive visuals, so as to not get overwhelmed and have your movie be layered with lots of hitching. Believe me, this stuff is kinda hard to explain, so if you have any questions on how Minima functions or why, I will be happy to help. So what we'll do is we'll let Minima render out the frames for the cinematic clip, then we'll make our way through the last part of this tutorial. For converting these frames into the final product video, I'm sure there's a way to do this in most all editing softwares, but for me, I will be sticking with Adobe After Effects for this tutorial. After importing all the frames in as a sequence, what you'd be expected to do is cut off and delete the unwanted frames, which you could easily do by using Shift D just as I do. To finish off, the last thing you would need to do is speed up the clip until you've reached the full length of the shot. 
and yes, I went back to Premiere Pro for this step. For me, my shot in Minecraft was set to go for 15 seconds, so I shrink the clip down to 15 seconds. Now you have your clip. That's all there is to it. If this Cinema Mods tutorial was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys.